Welcome to our Holy Hour series focused on healing through consecration. Really healing of broken hearts that we're experiencing today like never before. God has given us the greatest gift he could give us, his Eucharistic self and his mother. His mother will bring us to our Eucharistic Lord, will prepare us and form us, form our consciences, and pull us out of this world that we're in and and remold us into the image and likeness of her Son. Let's open with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, you taught us in Christ Scripture, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the, the Lord, Lord is, is with thee. thee. Blessed, blessed art thou among women, women and blessed, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, pray, pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the, the hour of our death. death. Amen. Our Lady, Seat of Wisdom, pray, pray for us. us. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. During this past week, you should have been reading from our Family Consecration Prayer Book, The Preparation for Total Consecration, according to St. Louis de Montfort. And we're on the first days now, uh, in this first section, The Spirit of the World. And we have with us once again, Father Bernard Geiger and Mother Immaculata. And the Father, uh, you know, you're mentioning original sin. It's this, everything in this life tends to deteriorate unless we strain forward and um, put up an old building or a new building, and if you don't take care of it, it deteriorates. And maybe you can just expand on original sin and how it affects us in this world. Well, <clears throat> the thing that strikes me most about original sin is that God foresaw that it was going to happen. He had the possibility of creating an infinite number of universes, including universes which would always have been faithful to him and loved him and obeyed him. Instead, he chose to create a universe that he foresaw was going to turn against him and corrupt this, this beautiful world that he made and gave to us. Even though he didn't will it, but he, for, he knew He didn't it will happen. it, but he... Every time God creates, <clears throat> he creates in order to show forth his own goodness, his wisdom, and his power, which is almighty. And by choosing a, a universe that would turn against him, that he foresaw would turn against him, that would be the greatest possible challenge to his goodness, wisdom, and power. And he decided to take that challenge because he had a plan for turning all of that corruption and suffering and sin um, upside down and turning it into a great uh, blessing. Um, his plan was through the very suffering that sin would bring upon us, and it always brings suffering, is that that suffering, when we <clears throat> accept it from him and give it back to him mm -hmm. in union with the sufferings of his son, that suffering will uh, stretch our hearts and empty them out mm -hmm. and make them ready for a love and a gift of oneself to God that we could never achieve in any other way. So you're saying the, the only way to grow really in the spiritual life is through suffering. This is what you're saying. Yes. St. Maximilian and Colby like to say, without suffering there's no proof of love. Mm -hmm. But suffering is the challenge to love. We meet suffering and evil and sin with either hate or love mm -hmm. for the person who's hurting us. And if we can rise to that challenge to accept the suffering, then we're going to grow. We're going to grow in a way in which we never could have grown otherwise. Now, so often we, 
we, re we psych ourselves in uh, overcoming these hurts and we sort of repress that suffering. Now, what you're saying is unite it to the cross yes. and it won't be repressive then if you unite that suffering to the cross. The, the suffering then can actually heal us mm -hmm. and uh, <clears throat> purify our whole intention so that uh, we will really love God. We're going to grow. Because so if a child's been abused mm -hmm. by a parent in such a traumatic uh, series of events, now that child, through this act of consecration, because St. Louis de Montfort says when we make this consecration, we, we give everything from the past, present, and future. And I, I've never, I said, well, how can you give anything in the past? But we can even give that past hurt, even though yes. it's past. Yes, And unite it to the cross through Mary, and that, that will start to heal us then. Yes, exactly. Because all that we have, <clears throat> we can give to God. And oftentimes when we're going through suffering, we're not very patient and we're not very accepting and not very loving. But later on, we can look back on these sufferings and say, God really blessed me through that. And we can turn that around and say, God, thank you for that suffering you gave me. I couldn't really thank you when I was suffering, but I do now. And I offer it back to you with the sufferings of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And that enables him to turn that whole thing into a great blessing, both for us and for other people. Um, God shows us, St. Paul says in the Epistle to the Ephesians, before the world began, he chose mm -hmm. us in Christ. He already knew us by name. He already knew what we would do down to the last detail. And he has a plan for bringing us back to him. And that is shown especially in the suffering of our Divine Lord and our Blessed Mother, who were totally innocent. And yet, the Son of God, by becoming man, became one of us, and by that very fact, he became our leader. And uh, so, therefore, our sufferings are sort of drawn up into their suffering and draws back down upon us God's forgiveness, God's love, our whole reconciliation with God, so that his suffering reconciles us to God if we want to be reconciled, if we don't if we, want if to If we be. unite ourselves to his suffering. Right, yes. So, Mother, this is the key then, isn't mm -hmm. it? I mean, so often we, you got the New Age movement out there giving you formulas for overcoming all these things. And, well, I, uh, while yeah. you were talking, I <clears throat> was thinking of particular instances in people's lives where the pain uh, may just seem overwhelming mm -hmm. and, and submerge a person for a period of time. I always think that all of us have gone through things like that where it almost seems impossible to live with the degree of pain that mm -hmm. we might have in our hearts and our minds and our souls. We can't think of anything else. We can't uh, manage going to work each day with this degree of pain. And when a person comes to that depth, it's absolutely necessary to reach out to the suffering of Christ because there is nothing else. There is nothing else. And it here, it's here that we, we can go and put our broken hearts on the heart of Christ and give that pain to Him. It's not a mere fiction. It's not an abstraction. It's a reality. His pain can be in ours. His heart can suffer in ours, and our heart suffers in His. And gradually, if we are patient, we feel His peace come through. So it's that, it's that uniting... The suffering yes. deepens the soul, mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. deeper we go with the suffering, the more we can feel coming into us a quiet, silent little peace, and it gets stronger and stronger. Christ holds us in that suffering so that we can bear it. He doesn't take it away. Mm -hmm. It's still there. Mm -hmm. It's not repressed. So I think this is so important because, we, as I mentioned before, we got that new age uh, gimmicks and and uh, new you know, new age gimmicks and, you know, and try to psych yourself into it or going right. to right. You try to use uh, some go, kind of yeah. of um, formula to get right. yourself out of pain so you don't feel it anymore. Mm -hmm. That's not good because it is a type of repression. Right. The pain is going to be there. We've got to feel it, mm -hmm. and actually, in feeling it, it becomes healed. 
right. So that Christ felt every drop of his pain hanging mm -hmm. on the cross. He didn't get out of it. He wasn't anesthetized by something or or some formula that you keep repeating so you so you abstract your mind from the rest of your feelings. Right. We must feel the feelings mm -hmm. to heal them. But the key, Father, I guess, is offering it, uniting yes. it with the cross. So Yes, we you, have to agree you know, to it. Because you, you just said before in our, uh, yesterday that, you know, Christ at, at Calvary, I mean, we're, when we're brought to the Mass, we're present, but we're present there every moment of the day. I mean, yes. for Jesus, for God, there was no time. Right. So as he was hanging there, he saw our fidelity, acts of fidelity and acts of infidelity. And, right. And, uh, and, uh, and he invites us to come to him. And as he said, come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Mm -hmm. And that's really what happens. He enables us to, uh, to say yes to God and to God's wonderful plan for us. And basically, that's what the New Covenant is all about. Our saying yes to God's wonderful plan mm -hmm. and all that he wants to give us and all that he's asking from us. And, uh, and that will bring about uh, the healing of all of the sin, the, the suffering, the hatred, and so forth. And we are brought then into unity with God and into unity with each other. That's where the peace comes from. Peace is um, the right order of mm -hmm. things, the tranquility of right order, as St. Thomas said. And so when we get right with God and get right with each other, we have peace. And that peace will help us to stay in that right order. And gradually, the sin, the corruption, the suffering, the pain will be healed. Oh, Father, we've run out of time, but this is, this is the beauty of what we're entering into now during this, this period. Now we're going into, we're in our second week now, and we're asking you to read every day the readings in St. Louis de Montfort in our Family Consecration Prayer Book, Section 51. And every day it has a reading. And now we're at this particular time, you're, you're reading about the spirit of the world and there are certain prayers. And you might say, well, these are boring and I have to say these prayers over and over again. You'll be amazed when we pray the Magnificat and we pray the, the, the prayer to the Holy Spirit and, and uh, the litanies. And, and we say them with fervor and this is preparing us because well, within 33 days, you're going to be making this act of consecration. And then we're going to be giving you more formation through the nine weeks and how to live it but you're in the most powerful part of your life now. You're going to learn how to take these hurts that we've all experienced and unite them to the cross through Our Lady. And through Our Lady is the key because she multiplies our merits and she puts into motion a tremendous power in the church. And now we're going to be going to our prayer, the act of consecration according to the formula of, of uh, St. Maximilian Kolbe. And then we're going to hear from Cardinal Arenzi. We'll say our rosary, which is a key to a consecrated life. And then the Holy Father and Mother Teresa will close. Let's pray. Hello, my name is Carolyn Stegman, and I'm a member of the Apostolate's Catholic Corps. And I'd like to invite you all to kneel with me now as we pray prayer number 50B in our Family Consecration Prayer Book, Act of Consecration to Jesus through Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Immaculata, Queen of heaven and earth, refuge of sinners, and our most loving mother, God has willed to entrust the entire order of mercy to you. I, Carolyn, a repentant sinner, cast myself at your feet, humbly imploring you to take me with all that I am and have, wholly to yourself as your possession and property. Please make of me of all my powers of soul and body, of my whole life, death, and eternity, whatever most pleases you. If it pleases you, use all that I am and have without reserve, wholly to accomplish what was said of you. She will crush your head, and you alone have destroyed all heresies in the whole world. Let me be a fit instrument in your immaculate and merciful hands, for introducing and increasing your glory to the maximum in all the many strayed and indifferent souls, and thus help extend as far as possible the blessed kingdom of the most sacred heart of Jesus. For wherever you enter, you obtain the grace of conversion and growth in holiness. 
since it is through your hands that all graces come to us from the most sacred heart of Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. We want to thank you once again for allowing us to come into your life with the truth that will make you free. Not just you, but your entire family. To learn the faith in a systematic way through the Apostolate's Family Catechism Program. Seven volumes that are designed for parents to use with their own children. And then come together once a week and join Francis Cardinal Lorenzi and he, as he reviews the same questions and answers you've been studying. And then use the cross index for the volumes and look it up in other books and other catechisms, Father Hard's Catholic Catechism, Bishop Worrell's and others, including eventually, as soon as it's available, the Universal Catechism by the Holy See. And find out more about your faith. It's so rich. We're here now in Rome. You're going to hear background music, or music, noise, and other things coming from the streets of Rome as we produce this program with Francis Carl Lorenzi, the Roman Curia. Your Eminence, can we open with a prayer, please? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, for love of us, you endured intense suffering for our salvation. We beg you that our hearts may be moved, our wills may be moved, our will, our minds, so that adoring you, thanking you, we may also love you because you loved us first. And we may therefore come within the range of that salvation you worked for us, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, your Eminence, in volume 2, question number 90, it says, Before his death, what trials did Jesus undergo? Jesus suffered much for us before he actually died on the cross. Before he, was, uh, he actually died, he was first of all arrested, which is an insult to a person who had been working miracles and teaching every day. He was betrayed by Judas, one of his disciples, for 30 coins. Then he was falsely accused again and again in front of Pilate. They said he was subverting the people and telling them not to pay tax when he was doing the opposite. Then he was um, cruelly treated. He was slapped by a servant. He was spat upon. He was crowned with thorns. He was flogged like any criminal. And then he was condemned by a cowardly pilot who knew jolly well that this was an innocent person. And the high priest and the others all got into a big um, uh, uh, coalition against him. Those who had been enemies before, Annas, Caiaphas, and so on, and Pontius Pilate, they all got together against him. Even he was abandoned by his apostles. Only John had the courage of the twelve of them to reach Calvary. Then uh, he was even spoken against by one of the thieves crucified with him, although the other one rebuked the, uh, the other. So that one was called the good thief, mm -hmm. because he stole heaven at the last moment. That's right. uh, he, was a, uh, he opened himself to faith. Yeah. The other man locked his heart. He showed there was, there was hope there for sinners. It, very clear. There is hope for everyone, even at the last moment. The Roman governor condemned Christ to die on the cross. Christ was crowned with thorns and vested as a king, and they slapped him, blindfolded him, slapped him, and said, you are the prophet, now tell us who slapped you. That's rather harsh. Mm -hmm. Then he carried on the cross, so much so that they feared he would die before reaching Calvary, and they got Simon of Cyrene to help him to carry the cross. So he did suffer for us. Greater love than this no man has. And particularly, just coming back again, that he... He was God and had total control over the situation. He could have called down the angels at any time to wipe out and kill all of his persecutors, but he chose not to use that power and to go to Calvary. That is true. As he told St. Peter, why are you using a sword? I can call down 12 battalions of angels, or even without a single angel, just one word. 
yes. of his would be enough to get the people all wiped out. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't even see their corpses. Right. Uh -huh. But he gave up his, he, gave, he laid down his life because he loved us freely. That's incredible. Freely. So when we look at that cross, we look at that, that incredible act of love and how he died for us. That is why we have our crucifix. And every celebration we have, we have mass, we have any other celebration, the crucifix is in the middle. And not just a cross, two pieces of wood. We want Jesus on it mm -hmm. because he died on it. Mm -hmm. There are some people who, without thinking, just get two pieces of wood for goodness sake. Christ died on the cross. Why take Christ away from the cross? Mm -hmm. That is the symbol of love that Christians use. It is. The central act of our salvation. Please kneel the Holy Rosary in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day He rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and he sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of Christ. Amen. For the intentions of our Holy Father, the Pope, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be 
world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, sins and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are at most need of your mercy. All for the sacred and Eucharistic heart of Jesus, all through the sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, all in union with St. Joseph. Please be seated. Let us now meditate on the first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. And we pray for the strength to offer God our trials in family and community life. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are at most need of your mercy. All for the sacred and Eucharistic heart of Jesus, all through the sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, all in union with St. Joseph. Please kneel. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. We pray for an increase in the spirit of purity to spread throughout our land once again. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of your mercy. All for the sacred and Eucharistic heart of Jesus, all through the sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, all in union with St. Joseph. Please be seated. Let us now meditate on the third sorrowful mystery, the crowning of thorns. And we pray for an increase in moral courage for all the members of our family, community, and the apostolate for the specific purpose of forgiving those that deeply hurt us. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of your mercy. All four, the sacred and Eucharistic heart of Jesus, all through the sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, all in union with St. Joseph. Please kneel. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. We pray for an increase in the virtue of constancy and patience in family and community life. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of your mercy. All four, the sacred and Eucharistic heart of Jesus, all through the sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, all in union with St. Joseph. Please be seated. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion. Let us pray for the grace to see our faults and die to our selfishness, so that the spirit and love of God can flow through us to our families and community. What are you looking at, Roman? Come to look at death. Thank God! Save me from this suffering! Try this one. He calls himself your Christ. Maybe he will save you. The Christ? 
savior of what? If you are the Christ, save yourself and us! Have you no fear of God, though you have been condemned to the same punishment? We suffer justly and are getting what we deserve. But this man has done no wrong. Remember me when you return in the glory of your kingdom. I promise you, this day you will be with me in paradise. I commend my spirit. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of your mercy. All for the sacred and Eucharistic heart of Jesus, all through the sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, all in union with St. Joseph. Please kneel. Gloria, St. Joseph, spouse of the Immaculate Virgin, obtain for me and all the members of my family and loved ones a confident, sinless, generous, and patient heart and perfect resignation to the divine will. Be our guide, Father, and model throughout life, that we may merit a death like yours in the arms of Jesus and Mary. Help us, St. Joseph, in our, in our earthly strife to fulfill our responsibilities and ever to lead a pure and blameless life. Heavenly Father, please ask the Holy Spirit, who resides in the innermost recesses of my soul, to help me to call to mind all of my sins and faults, Help me to detach myself from these faults and sins so that I can be a useful instrument in the hands of the Most Holy Family to achieve your distinctive plan for my life. Let me now pause for a few moments to think of my sins, faults, and omissions. Prayer number nine. Oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins, because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell, but most of all, because they offend thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we ask you to release the poor soul of one of our loved ones from purgatory. For each of us who received your Son in Holy Communion this day, and we ask these souls being released to pray continually that our families and the members and families of the Apostolate do your will. Please be seated. Before we go to the Holy Father and Mother Teresa, just want to remind you now to keep studying from the Preparation for Total Consecration, this little book that's also incorporated in the latest edition of the Apostles' Family Consecration Prayer Book, and also the work of True Devotion to Mary by St. Louis de Montfort. This will help you in your study in this, this beautiful mystery of consecration. The family catechism is so important if we're going to be consecrated in the truth. You can't really separate the two. Knowing the truths of the Catholic faith is an integral part of being consecrated. And if you study this every week and share it with your family, and particularly this week you should be studying questions 82 to 97, dealing with Jesus is true God and our Redeemer. And then listening to Carl Lorenzi's audio tapes on the same subject as you're driving back and forth. The attack is on the family today. And we have to reinforce the family with the truth that will make us free. Now, next week, Mother Immaculata will be talking with Father Bernard Geiger about the essence of consecration. And also, Father Hemp will be talking about this virtue of forgiveness that is such an essential part of really entering into this mystery of consecration itself. Now, we're asking you to be an apostle, to bring your families and your friends back to this family hour next week. If you're watching this on television, make a commitment now to get these tapes, to talk to your pastor, and to start to run these programs in the Eucharistic presence of our Lord in the churches, where our Lord is present, body, blood, soul, and divinity. Now let's go to the Holy Father. Thank you. Suffering and sickness and death itself are part of the mystery of life. But while they remain a mystery, they need not 
be without meaning. In Christ and through his passion and resurrection, all creation has been redeemed, including all human experience. In fact, in his passion, Christ used suffering and death to express in the fullest way his obedient love for the Father. And now, in union with Christ, our sufferings can become an act of love for the Father, a loving act of sur surrender to the providence of God. May you never doubt that the willing acceptance of your suffering in union with Christ is of great value for the Church. Once when Jesus was addressing a large crowd, he said to them, Come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart, and you will find rest for your souls. These words are intended for all of us, but they have a particular significance for the sick and elderly, for whoever feels overburdened. We note with consolation Jesus' promise that our souls will find rest, not our bodies, but our souls. Jesus does not promise to remove all physical suffering from our lives during our earthly pilgrimage, but he does promise to refresh our spirits, to lift up our hearts, to give rest to our souls. Come to the Lord then with your weariness and pain, your burdens and sorrows, and you will find rest for your souls. For Jesus is the good shepherd, the shepherd who leads his sheep to green pastures of consolation, to fresh waters of peace. Why, I know that you pray for me. I also want you to know that I pray for you, and especially during the celebration of the Eucharist, of the sacrifice of Jesus. I am seeking all of you in the whole world to be near to my altar. I pray that you will have the spiritual strength to accept your difficult crosses and not to lose courage. Dear brothers and sisters, may the Lord Jesus make you strong in faith and hope and fill your hearts with peace and joy. When we look at the cross, we know how much Jesus loved us. He died for us. He went through terrible, terrible suffering. There are many people here who have been chosen to share that suffering. For suffering is a gift of God, a gift to share in the joy of loving and sharing the passion of Christ.
Enough. Release them. You are dismissed. But with a firm charge to speak no more of this Christ. We rejoice. We have been counted worthy to suffer in his name. This is the joy of loving. So therefore, don't miss a chance to share the joy of loving God and using for accept and offer for peace in the world. Offer for the poor of the world. Offer for the place where you are. Offer for your family. There are so many reasons and beautiful reasons that we have to offer for. And this is very, very, very useful. Therefore, those who are suffering are chosen people to share the joy of loving. Oh, blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you Oh, blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Oh, blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, 